This is a video from Arch City Comics, I believe. Here, Arch City Comics is a lot of fun. So, uh, thanks. Go subscribe to Arch City Comics uh, if you enjoy this video. That's What's up, everybody? Welcome to the world famous Art City Comics. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed and you've got that bell rung for notifications so you can stay up to date on all things Art City. So, yesterday we had a Monday morning news segment uh, in which we kind of spitballed ways that the local comic shop can um, can do can do things to evolve, in a sense, uh, to get out of you know the um, the slump that a lot of shops are in and apparently all of our ideas are probably going to be uh, for naught because yesterday after we got off air Diamond announced that uh, it is shutting down due to Corona now what does this mean exactly it means that shops in a sense are not going to be able to get any product whatsoever to sell to consumers we talked yesterday about how uh, there are businesses out there company comic book companies out there that are offering returnability on products such as uh, image comics uh, alterna and a couple others we laugh that marvel's um their fix was to offer discounts to comic shop deep discounts uh, was the was the quote they used well none of that is going to matter fuck all if the shops can't get the product that they need with diamond closing that means that nothing is getting sent to these shops um, they did put out an official announcement yesterday um, I'm not gonna read the entire thing but this segment from um, the part that says effects on diamond comic distributors it says product distributed by diamond and slated for an on sale date of April 1st or later will not be shipped to retailers until further notice. For the time being, however, we have been able to develop procedures with our teams at the distribution center in Olive Branch to safely continue fulfillment of direct ship reorders for the retailers who are able to receive new product and need it to, need it to service their customers. It's unlikely that orders will be filled on the same day they are placed and these plans are subject to change if at any point we no longer feel that we can safeguard our teams while fulfilling orders. Product distributed by Diamond UK and slated for an on-sale date of March 25th or later, that's tomorrow, will not be shipped to retailers until further notice. Further updates with regard to reorders and other Diamond UK specific information will be communicated directly to their customers as information becomes available. So, this is very bad news for your local comic shop if you're in a state um, where the shop is still allowed to remain open. Here in Illinois, uh, the forced shutdown uh, of all businesses that are considered non-essential, the LCS are around here are already closed. Um, now, I'm not sure if they are offering, um, you know, curbside service, um, direct to your home shipping service, that sort of thing that some of these shops are coming up with to cope with this crisis at hand. Um, but this is this is bad news, bad, bad, bad news for the comic industry as a whole. Um, the a, a big part of this, honestly, with Diamond shutting down, Diamond is, uh, as this article says, America's main comic book distributor. Uh, it's essentially the only comic book distributor. Uh, they're the ones who send out Marvel, DC, Image, IDW, Boom. All of the big titles go through go through Diamond. Um, and what led to this was back in the 90s, Marvel bought Heroes World uh, and used them as, as their uh, main distributor. This led to DC going to an exclusive contract with Diamond, uh, for their distributing rights. Um, Dark Horse and Image followed very short after, and we've seen a lot of these smaller comic book distributors close their doors. Uh, Diamond became the monopoly as, as the distributor. Now, if we still had smaller distributors, would that really affect the situation? Uh, it's kind of up for debate. Uh, if you look through the the twatters 
there's a lot of talk that, oh, well, even the smaller distributors would have to shut down. It's not necessarily true. We don't know that for a fact. Um, it's possible that they would all have to shut down. It's also possible that some of the smaller ones could remain open because they are smaller distributors. Um, there are warehouse, tons of warehouses around here uh, in the Midwest that are still open. Uh, they're just they're running on shorter staffs, but they're still open. So to say that they would all have to close, that's that's a that's a stretch. That's a that's a very big stretch. I wanted to see, of course, who the uh, the number one mainstream insider, uh, Rich Johnson, had to say on on this issue as well. I had to make sure that my computer was safeguarded against all of the uh, spam, malware, and pop-ups. Uh, that come with this website here. But he says, uh, Bleeding Cool has been informed by multiple senior industry figures that Diamond Comic Distributors is requesting that no more product be shipped to any of its warehouses, any of its warehouses, there's one typo already, until further notice. Product already in its warehouses will be distributed such that it can, but after that, they will be distributing no more comics, magazine, books, toys, games, or any other products until further notice. Diamond Comic Distributors are the exclusive distributors to the direct market. Yes, we know that. For Marvel, blah, blah, blah. And man, man, what is that? Man, many more? I think that should be many, many more publishers. Without Diamond, that would be it. Yeah, we know. But he says, I have also been told to tell people not to panic. Well, of course you have. There are plans for digital first publication being discussed. And I also hear that alternate plans are going into place to ship books to retailers who can still accept them, and that there are smart people working on this with the industry's best interests in mind, and it shouldn't affect this week's comic books. Many stores already have them. Um, uh, okay, a lot. Oh, there's a lot wrong with this right here. Um, digital first publication um, is is fine uh, for readers. It does nothing to help the LCS they you're completely bypassing um, you know that small business network that is failing at this point um, the poor LCS have been in decline for years as it is because of diamonds predatory practices um, over shipping um, all these variant covers that they they don't ship unless you you gotta order uh, you know 200 copies of Miss Marvel number one to get the one variant cover for it, um, but this is this seems like it's more geared towards uh, the the like you and I, the consumer. Um, that's not who they should really be worrying about at this point. It's they should be trying to take care of their their network, these LCSs, these stores who depend on Diamond, depend on their mainstream comics to come in to keep customers coming in um, there the the statement here that there are smart people working on this with the industry's best interests in mind I don't believe that for a second because Marvel DC Diamond has not had the industry's best interest in mind for a very long time and I don't see them changing uh, just due to the corona I really don't um, it shouldn't affect this week's comic books, yes and no. Um, like I said, if you're in an area like mine who the shops have already been shut down, um, you're not going to get your weekly books. Um, many stores already have them. That's also uh, false. Uh, most stores don't get their books until today, Tuesday. Um, some, I guess, get them on Monday. Uh, it does vary, uh, but I know my LCS always got their books on Tuesday. Uh, they get everything inventoried, set up, and then drop the curtain on Wednesday. Now, this article was posted yesterday on the 23rd, um, so I just really... Rich doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. I don't know why I'm, I'm still even looking at this. Um, I did find this article from Polygon that had an update... Um, it says, in the wake of Diamond's statement, IDW Publishing, home of many licensed comics, including the lauded Transformers and Star Trek series, announced that it would suspend all of its May releases and reduce its overall publishing line through July. 
uh, in a statement, trimming our line through the summer in support of the direct market retailers will undoubtedly impact creative workflow for the short term. We fully appreciate the difficulty that this presents to freelancers. It's our expectation that in the long term, the direct market will bounce back as a result of these steps, and we can all continue the good work of making quality comics on the other side. Mm, I don't know about that, sir. Um, this is going to be very difficult for the direct market to bounce back from. Um, you're talking because we've already talked. Um, free comic book day, the first Saturday in May, has been canceled. Um, at first, they were going to make it a month-long event. Now they are pushing it back to later this year. Um, that's going to stall a lot of projects who use that free comic book day as a launch pad. Um, with Diamond shutting down, we're talking about the uh, essential cancellation of these major publishers, DC and Marvel, their big summer events that they love to do. Um, this is this is detrimental. Don't let anybody tell you any different. This is detrimental to the comic shops out there and the direct market in general. This is going to be very, very difficult for these small businesses to bounce back from. Um, something else that uh, the the idiot Rich Johnson said, um, he said, I, I have also been told that it is advisable that comic retailers and publishers in the U.S. look into the recently announced new forgivable loans for businesses with under 500 people. That is a first-come, first-served situation. Um, I would love to know um, what he's talking about there um, because as of yesterday, the Democrats were still bouncing that bill back and forth uh, for the relief fund so um, you're an idiot Rich God you're just you're such an idiot such a moron in these trying times there's a lot of morons out there you still are one of the biggest uh, kudos sir very very well done um, so that's what we know as of right now um, I'll definitely do updates to this as they become available uh, make sure you sound off in the comments Give me thumbs up, thumbs down. You know that drill. I want to hear what you guys have to say about all of this. What does the future hold for the LCS? What does it hold? Um, until next time, please make sure you are uh, subscribed and you got the bell rung for notifications. Uh, I will see you all soon.